Ah, the royal wedding, a magical day back in April. When Britain's royal family left London for the summer, they left something very important behind at Buckingham Palace, the bridal gown from Prince William and Catherine's wedding. And hundreds of thousands of people cannot wait to see it, including our own Jeff Glore, who is in London this morning with the latest. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Chris, good morning once again to you from London. Yeah, this was the big secret, the big reveal uh, up until wedding day. What would that dress look like? Now it will be on display right behind us. In April, the closest most anyone got to Kate Middleton's wedding dress was their television screen. Maybe a distant peak as the couple drove through the streets of London post-nuptials. But now, up close, on display, for those who'd like to see it, Buckingham Palace's latest museum show. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's, it's lifted. Having the Duchess of Cambridge's dress there has lifted the whole exhibit. Kate's dress, designed by Sarah Burton, stands out up close, says Royal Watcher Victoria Mather, perhaps most impressively because of its intricate craftsmanship. What you can see with the dress is the incredible detail which was done by the Royal School of Needlework at Hampton Court. There are little roses and daffodils and thistles, thistles for Scotland, daffodils for Wales, roses for England, um, shamrocks for Ireland. They are the size of a, of a dime. Also on display, Kate's wedding shoes, size seven and a half US, we're told. Her earrings bearing the new Middleton family crest and not to be outdone, the wedding cake, five tiers, actually, of the original cake topped with three new ones to replace cake that was already eaten or is being saved. Slices are not available now, but tickets to the exhibit are, and they've been selling briskly. Is it the goal of Buckingham Palace to make Kate the business? You could say that putting the frock on display is certainly um, boosting sales for um, Buckingham Palace, which desperately needs some rewiring and um, some work on the roof and it ain't getting any help from the government at the moment. So if the dress can go out to work, I think the dress could be a business by itself. <laughs> Uh, the exhibit runs through early October, and tickets aren't really cheap, just over 17 pounds, which is about 29 bucks U.S. Uh, don't worry, though, Chris, I've reserved you a special <laughs> VIP pass. Thank you very much, Jeff. I was going to ask you, how many times have you been through to see the exhibit already? Dozens, dozens. <laughs> but I want to know the, the most Possibly important... hundreds. The most important part of all this, Jeff, though, is what happened to Pippa's dress? Where's yeah. that? Well, Laugh it up, guys. Uh, good question, actually. Um, somebody asked that. It is, it, it, it is not here. Uh, maybe we'll go searching for it a little later. Ah. Jeff, do we have any idea where Pippa is? No. <laughs> searching for that, too, later. Clearly, she wasn't at the exhibit. Otherwise, you would have seen her. All right, Jeff. Thanks so much. Looks good out yeah, there. Yeah, good we stuff here, though. Weather looks great out there, though, too. Uh, Pretty nice. I know this, the, the sun is out. How about that? Yeah, because you are missing a, uh, uh, you're talking about a colossal heat wave back here. Be happy that you're outside Buckingham Palace. It's about 110 here in New York today. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you see soon. See you guys. Thanks, Have buddy. a great weekend. Okay.